What does the ISS smell like? Oh, you can uh, uh, smell a little roast beef. We first docked uh, with the shuttle. Um, there was a noticeable smell, but you get it, you get accustomed to it very quickly. So I can't tell any, anything anymore. We, you know, there, there was some uh, some. I don't know how to describe it, but some feeling that it was real air that was coming in and from the hatch. I think we told to each other, hey, can you, can you smell the... the you can uh, uh, smell a little roast beef. Special, and we could really smell... The poop remained in the toilet. We landed with all of our poop, and then the toilet was serviced once we got on the ground. It does, however, on occasion get stinky in space. What you smell in space in the cabin is generally each other. When we landed on the shuttle, after this situation for a few weeks, the people that would open up the hatch would get a whiff of this and be like, Whoa. I smell a little roast beef, was usually the reaction. Let's say you're up here on ISS and you need to go to the restroom. You want to come to this cabin and the first thing you want to do is grab this piece of equipment and turn this rotary switch 90 degrees to the open position. What that does is it turns on a fan which creates a suction effect in this hose so that you can use this yellow element for your number one. For number two, the principle is actually exactly the same, suction. We have a solid waste container here and on top of it... After you get a little experience, uh, you could do other things like peeing upside down. This was a challenge given to me by a, a more experienced astronaut who, who said it is possible to pee upside down. You should try it. And you can. You just flip yourself upside down. You need to be a little more careful. You don't want to do that on day one. You know, you don't want to hot dog it too much, but... Is this uh, seat. Uh, and the solid waste container is connected via this hose to the same fan so that, again, the same suction effect allows you to do your number two in weightlessness. I want to show you how it looks, but since we don't want any bad smells uh, to come out, we're going to actually turn on the fan. It's going to be a little bit loud. Here we go. Now you can lift the lid. There is this um, seat that sort of looks comfortable, but you don't really sit in, in, sit in weightlessness. So uh, most of us actually prefer to lift this one as well and use directly the, the opening that goes into the bag. And in fact, there is a bag in, in there. It looks like this. And uh, when we are done with our business, we close the bag and we push it down into the solid waste container. And then, of course, as a courtesy to the next person, we put a new fresh bag inside. The um, solid waste container gets changed when it's full, which is roughly every 10 days for two or three people using it. Uh, this one, for example, was installed on uh, the 61st day of this year. So okay, so, so where does the pee go if you do it in the spacecraft? In the spacecraft, it's collected and then dumped, as, as he described. And dump you would want to see, the, the urine dump was cool, because it would, <laughs> it, you would dump it and it would crystallize and the sun would shine on it and, and it was really beautiful. fun. It was, it was something I can't believe I'm having a conversation. Yeah. A beautiful frozen yeah. pee <laughs> in a space. Urine dump. Yeah. Hey, everybody, it's a urine dump. I, I, this is, hey, it's a urine dump. And we you know, before you hit the switch, I wouldn't go to the window and watch. <laughs> and so that's it. So you're telling me your pee <laughs> was orbiting the Earth. Apparently, yes. I never thought of it that way, but yes, for a little bit until it crystal, you know, it kind of disappeared. No, then it would re-enter the atmosphere. Uh, yes. Well. Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. Yeah, I that's peed on everybody. You, yes. peed, you peed on Earth. Yes, I guess <laughs> oh, so. my gosh. <laughs> now, now the, you know, the secret's out. That's it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> it is possible to pee upside down, which is kind of cool. And it is treated, and it is reused. So as my friend Don Pettit says, Today's coffee is tomorrow's coffee. As you're sitting on this thing, but you could still, your butt could still come off the back of it, and that's not good. So in order to keep your butt on the toilet seat, we had these two little arms that would press you into the seat. Actually, to help myself get the right position, as I put my arms up like this, like I was riding a chopper, I thought of Peter Fonda in a movie called Easy Rider. And that was a good alignment for me. The poop remained in the toilet. The more experienced recovery technicians would know that ahead of time and be prepared for it. Probably roughly around day 71, we will have to change it again. Um, but urine gets recycled. So from uh, the pretty complicated hydraulic equipment that is behind 
here and makes the use of the toilet and space possible, the urine actually gets directly transferred to another piece of equipment, which is here in the floor, which is called UPA, Urine Processing Assembly, which is the first step into turning urine into portable water. What does the ISS smell like? There's one smell up here that's really unique, though, and that is the smell. Um, we just call it the smell of space, but uh, we experience it when... Uh, um, I haven't had a chance to do a spacewalk yet. I'm still waiting and hoping for that. But when uh, other guys did and they came back in, um, you know, after we repressurized re and, and opened up the volume for them to come back into the station, there's this really, really strong metallic smell. Um, and I don't know exactly what it is. Um, uh, something to do with um, maybe uh, atomic oxygen interacting with the suit materials or we're not exactly sure what it is. It's a very distinct smell, and we, it's just it's the smell of space. It's really cool. And it's, it's just something that, it's a, it's a continual occurrence. It's like a very uh, small rain, a drizzle, and, and it's just something that you have to engineer around when you make a spacecraft.